All right, this problem we're going to be working is using something called the combined gas law. And this is on slide 62 of our chapter 11 gases PowerPoint. So the problem states 25 milliliter bubbles released from a diver's air tank at a pressure of four atmospheres and a temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. What is the volume in milliliters of the bubble when it reaches the ocean surface where the pressure is one atmosphere and the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius? And then there's an addendum, assume the amount of gas in the bubble does not change. So this problem is actually using what's called the combined gas law because it's basically a combination of several different gas laws. So the equation we're going to be using for this is P1 times V1 over T1 is equal to P2 times V2 over T2. So now we got to go through, just like all the other problems that we've looked at, and figure out what variables we know and what variable we're trying to solve for. So there's six total variables here, and we're going to know five of them and be able to solve for the six. So in our problem, if we just start going through and looking at the numbers, first number we kind of come across is 25 milliliters. So that happens to be our P1, because remember milliliters is a unit of volume, not pressure, so that is a mistake, sorry. Our first number, 25 milliliters, is a volume unit, so our V1 is going to be 25 mils. And then it says pressure of four atmospheres, so our P1 is 4 atm and our t1 is temperature of 11 degrees celsius and then we continue reading it asks for the volume so that means we're looking for v2 when it reaches the ocean surface where our pressure that's p2 is equal to one atmosphere and our temperature, which is T2, is equal to 18 degrees Celsius. So we have five of our six variables. We're looking for our V2. Now the only thing we have to be sure to do, just like with the other two problems that we've already looked at for our temperatures, we got to make sure and change them to Kelvin. So we're going to add 273 to each of these, which gives us 284 Kelvin for our T1. Oops, sorry, let me erase that. And for our T2, it's going to be 291 Kelvin. So now we can start plugging these in to our equation. So our P1, four atmospheres, V1, 25 milliliters, T1, 284 Kelvin. We set that equal to our P2, which is one atmosphere. V2, that's what we're looking for all over T2, which is 291 Kelvin. So like I said with the previous ones, easiest way to solve this is to cross multiply. So that gives us four times 25 times 291, which gives us 229,100. And on the other side, it'll be 1 times 284 Kelvin, which just gives us 284 times, oh, technology sometimes, which gives us 284 times V2. And then to get V2 by itself, we just divide by 284 on both sides. Sorry, oh, that's like a terrible looking eight. I'm going to erase that. There we go. And we get that our V2 is equal to 
103 milliliters. I think on the PowerPoint, they rounded slightly differently and got 102, but it's close enough. So our answer here, 103 milliliters. Thanks for watching.